digital romance TV. Hey folks, how are you? It's Michael Fiore from digitalromance.tv along with Nora Blake talking about how to get your girlfriend to have a threesome. Um, date somebody who's into threesomes. Date somebody who's actually has has expressed bisexual preferences is the easiest way to start. Because you're assuming, point. you're assuming that he wants a threesome with, with a girl, a, with another girl. Though sometimes that is not true. A lot sometimes of guys actually do get off on the idea of watching their girlfriend uh, being with another guy. That or whole cuckolding thing is huge. Some men are actually you Bi. know bisexual, and so well. they would like to have another man in the bedroom, and that happens as well. The key thing, though, is like step one usually is to make sure the connection you have with the woman in your life is extremely strong, sexually right. and otherwise. You need to understand that you guys have a strong connection, that um, you have to make it about your relationship, not about you screwing another girl, right? Or about her screwing another guy. Right. It's got to be about you guys, not about this other third person, right? The yep. third person is only there in order to enhance your relationship in some way. And to, uh, you know, they're basically disposable in a way. Um, a good friend of mine is a woman who has had sex with several couples over the years and talks about, um, she's talked to me about uh, how it's really enjoyable for her, partly because she gets to get the hell out and not be involved in all the emotional BS that kind of goes on. You're the around. guest star. You're the guest star at that point. You get to come in, you get to be, uh, you know, the, the focus of attention for a while and go from there. For guys, though, you got to make it about her pleasure, about your girlfriend's pleasure. And that's true of anything you want to do that's kinkier than maybe she's experienced before. You've got to find ways to you know, sell it as a positive for her, find the benefits to her. Um, and that's kind of the main, the main thrust of it. Don't do that whole thing with like, well, if you love me, you'll do this, or anything like that, because that'll cause resentment. You also have to give her the power in this case. You can make it known that's something you want, as long as she knows that, as long as she already feels like she's you know, lusted after and desired by you. If you ever let on to her that it's about her not being enough for you, that's not going to play extraordinarily well. So the bottom line is, if she's not into it, move on. Largely, yeah, largely. Because we never say you mm -hmm. teach you how to manipulate somebody no. into doing something. And we're but not, if she's we're not, not going to do that. if you make it a, your whole relationship about trying to get your girlfriend to do something in bed that she's not into your relationship is not going to last long. But the real, the real focus, though, is for anything like that, whether it's um, you know, wanting to have a threesome or wanting to be kinky or wanting to do anything that's, you know, quote, unquote, beyond the norm, the way to get there is to make sure that what you've already got is really strong. Yeah. It's not going to fix your relationship. No. Right? It's never going to fix your no. relationship to bring somebody else into it. But if your relationship is already strong, if you already love each other, if you already have good sex and good connection, you can use this kind of thing to enhance stuff. Right? But if you're constantly feeling putting somebody in a where they feel like they're keeping you from something yep. and they're feeling pressured to make you happy by giving you this thing that you want your relationship in a, is in a bad place yeah. and that's going to make it continually worse and worse the yep. longer that that goes on so another way to do it all but the two other things to say on this particular topic is one is um, if you do have a girlfriend and you're talking about it and you're saying hey I want to have a threesome and she is saying that, that could be open that that could be cool she gets to pick the girl yep right she gets to be the one who actually picks out who you're having that with and she also gets to set the rules about what kind of threesome you're having and how far it's going to go yep. at that point. If she says, okay, we can do this, but you're not putting your dick in her, then okay, go for that. It's okay. You're still getting what you and want. And you're going to have to have those conversations yes. prior to anything actually happening. This yes. can't be like a, you know, throw it up at a bar when you're both feeling all drunk and happy and then try to pick somebody up that night. You have to um, have limits and conversations and actual, you know, discussions about repercussions to your relationship and go about it as adults and not. And finally, the things I'll say on that is, um, uh, start with fantasy before you go to reality. Yes. Right? So when you're you know, playing sex games with your girlfriend, things like that, fantasize about being with another girl and about what that would be like for her. You know, narrating what that is like yeah. for her and how she's going to get pleasure out of it can be a very, very powerful thing. Also, go out of your way to satisfy whatever fantasies she might have first. If you want to give her whatever that might be, uh, whether it's actually committing, you know, doing what she, what she fantasizes about or at least you know, role playing at it, show that you're willing to fulfill her fantasies first and she'll be more likely to fulfill yours. Okay, so if you have any uh, comments or questions or anything like that, put it down below or tell us about your greatest threesome experience in detail, really detailed detail. No. And uh, then uh, go over to digitalromance.tv for more videos. Bye-bye. 
If you've got a cell phone in your pocket or purse right now, then you've got everything you need to create incredible romance and passion with the man or woman in your life at the push of a button. Go to digitalromance.tv forward slash TRB to see Michael Fiore make an entire audience of women in the Rachel Ray show swoon and learn how to use tiny little text messages to have the relationship of your dreams.